guys, so this is a video to open up into your hip area. So a lot of people like myself have difficulties in working into that full range of the hip motion. So if you're doing a needle where you're holding your leg front, side and back, because the needle is a three point area, you will need this hip rotation. So what you'll do is you'll put your foot on the block. How about I go sideways to make it a little bit easier. If you need something under your knee, you can do that. And you're doing a half frog and a half straddle. And you can point and flex, point and flex, and that, see how the block moves out, okay? Keeping your core nice and strong here. You're holding here for maybe around 10 seconds or so. You can do a little bit of bouncing if you want to get a little bit deeper. Keep this foot here that I'm moving in a right angle, maybe flex or point up to you. Once you've found that position, you can rotate through to the side. So now I'm opening up. You can see that it's a strong movement and it's challenging to get to this side. And I'm going towards this foot and now I'm stretching in to the inside of the leg, holding it out. You can bring yourself around further and you're breathing deeply all the time. You don't want to overstress as you do this. Breathing nice and deeply, holding here. Once you feel that release, maybe hold for around 30 seconds, you're gonna come back in to the movement and you're going to open up here. Now, this is the tricky part because you're going to rotate your leg around here. Now, rotating your leg, your foot could slip off the block or it just could be very uncomfortable. So take it slowly. I like to move my foot, make sure it's okay like this. And as I slowly sit back, I move my other leg a little bit to find room and space in the hip. So I'm rotating through the ball and socket joint here. And you're also feeling a really strong pull in here up in towards hip flexors that are often tight until you get yourself round to this side. And then from there, you're gonna take a nice side stretch and open up here and opening up through the side body as you open up through the inner leg. You can bring yourself down further and you're holding that stretch here. Breathing nice and deeply here. Now you would do this both sides. So you're holding a really strong rotational pull. You're trying to push your hips forward here because you're working also on your hip flexors. So your hip flexors often, although we're working in our hips, our hip flexors often get super tight in our straddle moves. So we need to also find that ability to open into the ball and socket of the joint. So the ball and socket joint, it can do circumduction. Whereas this is not a ball and socket joint and it just goes up and back. It's a hinge joint and same with the elbow, but the shoulder is a ball and socket. The great thing about ball and socket is it has full rotation, but the difficult part about a ball and socket is the ball and socket joint can hold your shoulder in really well and limit the rotation and it can feel like a bit like a rusty chain, or it could be another one where you could have hypermobility or a very shallow socket joint, and it pops out a lot. So we have to be very mindful of that and very gentle. So again, I will show you from now the frog side. Okay, so you're going into the long leg. I should put it on, let's go back this way. I should put it on this way, frog side, and you're gonna push your leg out nice and long here. Okay, so you've got to do both sides. Always so, so important. Both sides is a must. So the leg is long, pointing and flexing, pointing and flexing here, opening up, keeping your core strong so you can see released and strong. And then taking it round to the leg here. And you can extend your arms out if you want to. You can grab onto the foot. It's totally up to you. You can point and flex the back frog leg. Breathing deeply always, okay? It's so many things that you need to do when you're working to a frog or a straddle, which is why it's often so hard. So here I like to lift myself up. You can see I'm bringing my frog a little bit closer as I move myself and rotate myself. I'm trying to stay on the block, it's slipping. Into this position here. Now I can feel a lot of pull in this part of my hip joint as I rotate. So that's, you can see that that is a real work in progress for anyone doing it. It's not a natural thing to have this rotation a lot because we use it as we go to the side more as a cross point in the joint as opposed to full rotation. So we're flossing out the joint as we do it. At first flossing can be quite uncomfortable, but just like when you oil a chain on a bike, it gets more comfortable. And slowly come up, each joint will feel different. 
And this is a great way to also increase the full mobility of your joints in your hip area, help you with straddle, help you with your needle and help you just in general to floss out and get a healthier joint socket. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thanks for joining me. Namaste.